Hey, if you're looking for that suburb living around Wichita, Kansas, you are in for a treat. We've got seven suburbs with the lowest cost of living in the Wichita area, and we're getting after it right now. solid like comment subscribe got a question reach out I can't read your brain call text email send the carrier pigeons whatever you got to do to get that question answered I'm talking to people each and every day I'm helping people I love it I love this no such thing as a stupid question all right plugs aside we're getting after it right now all right we are jumping straight in seven suburbs with the lowest cost of living in the Wichita area that is a mouthful. So we're jumping straight into it. Check the number seven is going to be Valley Center. Quick disclaimer, there were more than seven, but we figured it'd give you a little something to something to ponder and look at afterwards. Number seven, Valley Center. Obviously, we're going uh, the further we get to number one. The less expensive these homes are, the cost of living is, excuse me. So, Valley Center. And we've touched on most of these suburbs, most of these towns, so we don't necessarily have to go into uh, too much detail. We'll keep it short and sweet for you. This will give you a little something to, something to look at, and we'll give you the links to uh, this. You can do a little more digging. And that was number seven. Number six is going to be Park City. Not too far. Not too far. Park City, Kansas. Just a tad bit bigger. It stretches. And number five is actually, we'll uh, give you a little pro tip if you look. The list says suburbs, but El Dorado is listed as a Kansas town. So kind of like I've stated previously, some of these, some of these really aren't suburbs of Wichita. But El Dorado is a solid place. It just depends on you and your situation. If you like boating, if you like fishing, I mean, move the map up. You got it here. Kind of a uh, laid back. They have their own Dillon's. This is going to be the Kroger equivalent. Their own Walmart Supercenter. It's a little bit of a drive. I mean, for me, it, it's a drive. I'd say 30, 45 minutes, depending on how fast you're driving, where you're coming from. It might not be so bad for you, but... El Dorado's number five. All right, we're jumping back a little bit closer to Wichita with Hayesville. Hayesville, a little bit, <laughs> quite a bit shorter commute for you. We're back in Sedgwick County. Smack dab there, can't miss it. Jump on uh, Broadway or Seneca, Meridian. Can't miss it. And that was number four. Hayesville, number three. We are jumping to another town, not technically a suburb. Harvey County. This will be Newton, Kansas. Newton, Kansas. And I have I've highlighted Newton. Solid place. I mean, you've got your shopping here, your grocery store, your super center. There's stuff to do. Just it's a little bit further out. It's kind of like El Dorado. If you're if you're okay with the drive, it it's solid. There's gonna be pros and cons to all of them, but I'd say probably about 30 minute drive. It just depends on uh, traffic. It's gonna be. I mean, you're gonna take uh, 135. I mean, I would. 
I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't dare take Broadway all the way there. But number two, if you're not paying attention while you're in and while you're in Newton, you might miss this one. North Newton. Just north of Newton. You take 15 up. Don't blink. Not staring, not talking any smack. But you take that main street north and you'll pass right through. This is in Harvey County. Uh, Bethel College is up there. And the wife went to the Kaufman Museum. I mean, there's stuff to do up there. It's just real, it's just a real small town. I think, you know, maybe if you're lucky, 2,000 people. Uh, pretty big Mennonite uh, influence up there. Nothing wrong with that. Just state the obvious. It's right there. So that brings us to number one. Take a guess. Can you guess? I'll give you a second. Mulvane, Kansas. Mulvane, Kansas. So this is going to be south of Derby. Take K-15 in. You cannot miss it. Cannot miss it. It's uh, in Sedgwick County and Sumner County. So, And right on over here is um, another casino. And I actually worked at this casino for eight years long time six months shy of being day one and silly enough before I had worked at this casino really didn't really didn't ever go to Mulvane didn't have a reason uh, working at this casino doing security and whatnot we would uh, drive into Mulvane we would get gas and and whatnot nice little towns another just another small town and I can tell you that there are parts of it that are in the floodplain. Uh, not too long ago, quite a bit of uh, Mulvane was actually, had actually been flooded and, you know, cost of living, that, that's something I would probably consider. I mean, other than that, I don't disagree with this one. I don't, I think, uh, I think it's there. I think there's several on the list that I agree with. Um, I think North Mulvane, or North Newton, excuse me, North Mulvane, North uh, Newton might be a little questionable. I think that cost of living might be, I mean, just me personally, like I said, this isn't my list. This is niche.com, but. But yeah, there's there's plenty more on the list. I'll leave a link, the link in the description. Uh, it'll touch on you know the other ones, Derby, Andover, Goddard, Mays. It'll let you know where they rank. And just keep in mind, you know, the further away from one, the more expensive that cost of living is. So just a little something to keep in mind. I'm not steering you towards or away. That's why we got the list. Thank you, Niche.com. So do me a solid, guys. If you got any value out of this, like, comment, subscribe. If you got a question, reach out like i've been saying i can't read your mind call text email send the carrier pigeons whatever you got to do to get the question answered until the next one guys we'll catch you later